I have this unfinished wood circle. You can get these right from the Dollar Tree. They measure 11 and a half inches. And I'm going to start by giving it a coat of some Wise Owl White Primer. When my primer dried, I did give it a coat of Wise Owl Snow Owl. I will allow everything to dry, and then I'm going to add a coat of some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. You can also use the varnish, and I use the matte finish. I'm going to allow everything to fully dry, and I have a second circle that I'm just going to use to trace. I'm going to put it in the center of my big circle, and this one measured 10 inches. I'm going to trace it with a pencil. I have some clothes pins. I got these ones from Target. They were 50 in a pack for $2. You can also find these at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue the clothes pins on their sides, going around the edge of the big circle. So I'm using the traced circle as my guide to make sure I keep everything nice and even. And I'm adhering the clothes pins down with some hot glue. Now at this point, I'm leaving them unfinished, and I went around the entire circle. I ended up using 63 clothespins in total, and I just got lucky that they happened to fit perfectly around the outside. Next, I'm going to take my spray bottle, has a little bit of water in it, and my Wise Owl chocolate paint, and I'm going to brush on the chocolate paint. Now I add the water because it gives it more of a stained look. I did not want full coverage. I'm going to allow some of the natural wood to peek through. If I don't cover every piece of the clothes pins, that is totally fine. I put some of the chocolate paint heavier on some areas and lighter on others. And you can also use the General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. But if you do not have the gel stain Watering down the chocolate paint works perfect. And I went around to every single clothespin. Now, because I added the one hour enamel clear before adding my clothespins, it was an easy cleanup with any chocolate paint that may have splattered. Next, I'm going to paint the words laundry room with some Wise Owl black paint. I have these letters that I got from Michael's. And you can also spray paint these if that is easier for you. I put them on the back side of the blue painter's tape so they're not moving around. I have this wall sticker. This also came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use the bottom portion. It's just a really cute saying. It says, sort tomorrow, wash later, dry soon, fold maybe, iron, get real. And I place that on the bottom section of the circle. Once my letters were dry, I'm going to put the word laundry room on top. Now this wall sticker adhered nicely to my painted surface because I did do that top coat of the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. So it gave it a nice slick surface to adhere nicely to. I'm going to glue my letters down with some hot glue. And then I'm just going to add a very easy hanger to the back side. I'm going to flip it over, and I have a handheld stapler that I'm going to just staple a piece of jute on. And I'm making sure that I hit the tips of the clothespins. That way the staple does not go through my thin piece of wood. And there you go. Now we just have this very easy, inexpensive laundry room decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.